So there are five big drivers that help explain what's going on in the U.S. and global economies. The first big driver is demographics. In the United States, workforce growth and population growth has been decelerating for the last several decades. If you looked at a chart of workforce growth in the 70s, 80s, 90s, through the 2000s, you would see a steady deceleration in workforce growth. The reason this is important is GDP growth is the sum of growth in the workforce plus growth in productivity. So if you know workforce growth is decelerating, unless productivity offsets that slowing, it tells you GDP growth is gonna be sluggish. And the reason for that is the participation rate, in other words, the rate at which the population participates in the workforce is ages mid-teens and higher. What percentage of those people are participating in the workforce? The reason this is important is if you know workforce growth is decelerating, as a policymaker, you'd want to do things that promote workforce growth. You'd want to do things to make it easier for people to work later in their career. You'd want to make sure that women uh, find it easier to participate in the workforce. What's an example of something that would help there? Affordable childcare, uh, particularly for low moderate income women would be something you would prioritize in a community if you wanted more women to be able to participate in the workforce. Transportation is a reason why people sometimes choose not to participate in the workforce, particularly if they have to go to a location. And if gas prices are high, that just is one more barrier that keeps people from participating in the workforce. It's another reason why immigration is a topic we're gonna to have to come back to most likely in the United States, and that one of the things we've done over the decades in this country, and one of our distinctive competencies has been to attract workers from around the world to come here, stay here, and participate in our workforce. This is one of the things that helps supplement workforce growth. We've obviously gotten away from that in the last number of years, but I think, again, as a society, we're gonna to wanna to look for ways to grow our workforce, make it easier for people to participate in the workforce, and uh, if we do this, it'll make it easier to have a more prosperous economy and offset some of this deceleration that we're seeing. To learn about the five structural drivers of the global economy, continue watching our clips on the Robert Stephen Kaplan YouTube channel or visit robertstephenkaplan.com.